Welcome to the season finale. After a relentless journey around the world, we have reached the concluding chapter of 2023. This is the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, where the story remains incomplete for this season in so many areas. Fourth in the Drivers' Championship, eight places undecided in the Constructors. It's time for the final chapter. It has been a memorable one. It has been a dominant one for Max Verstappen and for Red Bull. And we started in Bahrain. We conclude in Abu Dhabi, 5.2 kilometers, 3.2 miles, and 58 laps ahead of us. 16 turns in this remodeled circuit changed in 2021, and providing a lot of action and overtaking opportunities. Let's send it to turn number five, which is the first of those overtaking opportunities. And this, well, I don't really need to tell you what happened here. One of the more famous moments in the entire history of the sport as Max Verstappen got through on the last lap to win his maiden title. Gasly versus Ocon, not teammates then, but they were fighting their way by in 2020 in to turn six, tidy pass for Pierre Gasly. In the uh, last ever race for Alpha Tauri today, and this was Vettel versus Ocon, and if you've got the grip and you can keep your foot in, you can try going the long way around, but you're gonna get shuffled out. Ocon staying ahead of the man who retired one year ago. These are the tyres, the softest in the Pirelli range, the C5, the C4, and the C3, the soft, the medium, and the hard. And it will be interesting to see how long you can make that medium tyre last when you go for the softs at the end. Well, these are the pictures of a billion dollar racetrack, and let's take you through from the back to the front of the last Grand Prix of the year. Logan Sargent, two times deleted for track limits. He's next to Joe Guan Yu. They're on the back row of the grid. Then it's Valtteri Bottas, a former winner around here, going from 18th. Kevin Magnussen in the updated Haas, which is not working. Then Carlos Sainz, who is the big shock of Q1 on the back foot since his uh, crash in practice earlier on. He's next to Daniel Ricciardo, outqualified by his teammate. Alex Albon sweeps the season. The lead Williams on the grid all the way through. He's next to Lance Stroll. Then it's Ocon and Hamilton, who is the big shock of Q2, unhappy with the one lap pace of that Mercedes this year. Pierre Gasly in 10th position next to Sergio Perez, who has struggled in the summer break for one lap form. Unlike Nico Hülkenberg, who has been a star when it's come to one lap. If you go further, though, different story. Fernando Alonso is next to him. Yuki Tsunoda's best ever start on a Formula One grid. He's next to Lando Norris, who felt pole was within his grasp. Best start in Yas Marina for George Russell. Three top threes in his rookie season for Oscar Piastri. Five consecutive trips to the front row for Charles Leclerc. But guess who at the front of the field? The final race of the year is five lights away. And the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix is go! Max Verstappen's having to do something about Charles Leclerc! George Russell was close there with Oscar Piastri. Can Charles Leclerc do anything now? He's right in the wheel tracks, no DRS at this stage. But this is for the lead of the Grand Prix! Side by side, they go once again, only momentarily. Once again, Verstappen's bravery on the brakes keeps him the lead. But surely we weren't expecting this sort of pressure. How did Leclerc not take the lead? Twice he was up the inside, cleanly there. and Verstappen Stappen charged around the outside. Shah, I think, was maybe a little bit too kind to him in both of those cases. I thought Max might fly off the road at turn one, but he had the space and had the margin to do that. Perez has a hunt at Hamilton. Perez diving to the inside. That is a replay of Lando Norris moving up to third position, and he was clearing Oscar Piastri. Driver gets a chance for a right of reply. Russell has waited. Has the momentum. Does he have the place? Got to go to the outside line. Different story on the exit. It still belongs to Piastri. And having to defend into six. Sergio Perez is going to make the place. Oscar Piastri is off the racing line. Finally, the move is complete. So Norris responding. And Russell, he's headed in as well. And Russell's got the better stop. And there you go for George Russell. So that's a big moment in the context of the Grand Prix. McLaren, when it counted 5.1 seconds, Look, he came from a long way back, but as the uh, Alpine was locking up, Hamilton, I think, has obviously been confused by it and, and just ran into the back of him. Perez will want a clear, easy, efficient pass here. Yeah, they just brake tested me. I got brake tested, like, way before the brake is on. Oh, yeah, he yeah, did. Hear. He did actually slow down, trying to force Lewis to pass him. You don't see many passes into turn five today. Fernando Alonso getting in there early, trying something different. 
Perez is looking to the inside. Can he get it done? Norris trying to stay there. They make contact. That seemed to be happening at such slow speed. Perez seemed to have the place. Checo doesn't turn into an apex, runs wide. You just turned it to me. There we saw. Looking for the move around the outside. He'll scrub the speed off. Oh, that'll work. That'll work nicely. Hamilton goes the long way round. Once again, Perez getting close, trying to make it work in the braking zone, fights his way by to fourth position. Oh, that's a nice dive to the inside. And we saw it from the nose cam as Sergio Perez gets by up to third on the road. Max Verstappen out of the final corner for the final time. Max Verstappen wins 19 Grand Prix. Hamilton does get by, we believe. Oh, it was really close. Perez is in second place, but Charles Leclerc will move up there. And this was Charles Leclerc opening the door for Perez to pass. And Mercedes cling on to second in the championship, even though Hamilton went for that pass and didn't pull it off on Sonoda. Well, it's time to light up one of the very best Formula One cars ever built. The dominant Dutchman winning for the 19th time this season and Red Bull end the season beaten just once in the Grand Prix format. Max Verstappen champion long ago back in Qatar. Alonso fourth, then Leclerc, Norris and Sainz with a weekend to forget to conclude the year. In the battle for P2, Mercedes held on despite Charles Leclerc's invention on the last lap. I went into the race because not really knowing what to expect because I didn't do a long run, a proper long run. Um, so that first stint was a bit of a, yeah, just trying to feel what was possible. Um, that's why I think in the beginning I was a little bit cautious to push too hard. Um, and luckily at the end of that stint I could make a little bit of a gap, but it seemed like the tyres were quite fragile. I was hoping to do a one stop, but it just seemed a bit difficult. Um, and yeah, after that first stop, of course, we went on to the hard tyre. It seemed all a bit more under control. Um, and also, you know, I, I kept on pulling away from, from the cars behind. So, yeah, just step by step, I could just extend the, the gap a little bit more. Well, I, again, I think in the last few weekends, we didn't leave anything as a table in the, on the table. And this is what mattered to me. But uh, on the other hand, quite frustrated because I wanted that second place in the constructors, which we didn't get. And uh, this is a bit, uh, yeah. That's why I don't have the smile that I should have uh, at the end of... Uh, this uh, this race but it's uh we we've given absolutely everything and it wasn't enough long race really challenging within the car i was coughing every single lap i've, I've never had a race like that before um so i was really struggling uh within myself but nevertheless it was one of my strongest races of the year checo just came out of nowhere you know he wasn't on my radar the whole race until i think 10 laps ago when um they said checo's just box he's right behind lando i was like whoa this is going to throw a spanner in the works. And um, yeah, thank goodness for that penalty because in the end, you know, we were fourth on the road. He wouldn't have passed Charles. Championship could be a very different story right now, but I think um, Lady Luck was on our side today. Hasn't often been this season, so I think the end result was fair. Yeah, it is frustrating at times, you know, because um, at the end of the day, we rely on someone's opinion. Um, I've seen the incident from my opinion. Um, you gotta remember that when we dive into the inside of someone from behind, we, we are breaking later than we can. Uh, so we are not totally at full control. Um, as I was breaking, I couldn't control fully the car. And um, we ended up, and Lando at the same time decided to turn as if there was no one uh, in the corner. So we end up making contact, but it was tire to tire. You know, he cut the corner, he gained some time. Yeah, at some point, uh I thought uh, we, we can go, well, we could finish potentially be top, top six, but yeah, um, just uh, didn't work out. Um, I don't think we have regret that uh, we, we stayed out and try for one stop. Um, yeah, just uh, obviously a shame that we didn't able to finish P7.